Alright guys, welcome back to Danganronpa. Previously, two idiots tried to one-up each other and are now slowly dying in a sauna. So without further ado, let's see what happened to them. Or if they're still alive, that is. Probably. That'd be a lame death. If fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you're born? Let's not get all philosophical here, Monokuma. We just started the episode. If all your yesterdays piled up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. That's why I'm still alive! Because I don't know! That's why I desperately cling to life! You desperately cling to life because you don't know why you're alive. Will you find that out when you die? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know with you, Monokuma. You're an enigma. Ding dong, bing bong. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Oh shit, I forgot to read. <laughs> I hope Mondo and Taka survived. I'm sorry, I went into solo gamer mode. Uh huh. <laughs> Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. And when I entered, they're alive, guys! They're alive! And Mondo seems happy, so he's probably the one who won? Bah! <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> I told you! I told you guys in the last episode these two are gonna become the best of friends. This is how it always goes down in anime. What are you talking about, bro? What the? Yo! Hey, Makoto! <laughs> Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday! Huh? Are they friends now? <sighs> They've been like this all morning. They were like all buddy-buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. Yeah, it feels kind of gross. What? Feels gross? Hell no. Feels great, more like. Oh. Uh, this almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, your name is literally one letter away from Yaoi, so I don't know what you're you're talking about. <laughs> Forget her, bro. A girl with like her just doesn't get our manly bond. <laughs> you hear me? Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman would never understand. Ah, uh, here we go. It's the bromance arc. Ain't that right? What you just said? Bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. <laughs> Without a doubt. I'm sorry if I'm laughing so much. <laughs> Nah, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. So, um, who won the contest? Piece of shit! Who gives a shit? Let me guess. Neither of you won the contest. You both left at the same time and called it the draw. Isn't that what happened? You can tell me. Just be honest. Got it! Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. That's completely different from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, you better bet your life on it. Friendship between men is very simplistic. Until we start drinking. That's when all the feelings come out. Yeah, for real. <laughs> All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. <laughs> oh man. 10 out of 10 writing, for sure. So what should I do today? Ding dong bing bong? Hmm, who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. They didn't force their way in, you opened the door. Huh? What? Toko? What do you want? 
Uh, Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so surprised? Am I really that annoying? No, you just... You just came in. <laughs> well, I already know what I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. <laughs> I have a f favor to ask. I want you to c go somewhere with me. Where is this going? And where is it you want to go? Well... You just want to go see Byakuya. Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byaku? Exactly. He spends all his time in the library anyway. <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? <laughs> You're not a b blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. Uh, I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be the quiet, I'll be quiet. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure no one else cares. <laughs> then let's go. Go to the library. Okay, I got it. The library. Jeez, why so pushy? Jump cut to library? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Quiet. Be quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Still in that seat? Still reading a book? What's your problem, Byakuya? Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here! <laughs> He's really here! Oh boy. Okay, Makoto, go talk to him! You talk to him! You're the one with a crush, not me! What? Stop being so loud! Just hurry up and go talk to him! It doesn't matter if I'm loud if I'm gonna go talk to him! You go talk to him if you want to so bad. Thank you, Makoto. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. Oh, so I'm going to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, boy, this nah. Okay, I just showed my inner weeb there. All right, Byakuya. Rip me a new one. He seems to be really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back there? I hate even having to look at you. Ah, uh, so you noticed me, huh? Naturally. Of course. Now hurry up and leave. <laughs> and take her with you. <laughs> hey, um, Byakuya. <laughs> Remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates weak men? Be a woman dominated by a strong man? Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he never said that. Well, actually, <laughs> I just thought it sounded like something you might say. It's something you want him to say. Get out. Go take a bath. You smell. Yeah. Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. Go now before your stench latches onto the entire room. <gasps> okay. Yeah! How do you think I was gonna help? I would start the conversation and you would jump in? Was that the plan? That's not how it works, Doko. I can't be your wingman in this. <laughs> he really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. He's always in a bad mood. He seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? <laughs> Byakuya, to go that far, let me guess. Ahigao face next scene. There we go! I called it, I called it, and I hate it. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Huh? <laughs> he, he told me to take a bath and everything. You must really care about my well-being. This is not how this works. Well, no. This is how it works for you. This is not how it works for the rest of the world. <sighs> hey, Makoto. What do you think? Think about what? Do you think Yakuya and I would be good together? 
he's gonna use you as a doormat. Now, if your goal in life is to become a doormat, then by all means. <laughs> um, well now, I don't really know. Maybe. That's true. There's really no way to know. <laughs> uh, but the distance between us doesn't change our love. Your love. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. Uh, yeah. Okay. There might become a day when you uh, understand. Maybe. Someday. Well, bye. You. Stay safe, Toko. Don't. What the? <laughs> Jump scares. Ah, uh, young love. Wah. Ba -bam, ba -bam. Who would have guessed she would go for something like him? Sing! But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. <laughs> Nyo ho ho ho. Okay. All of a sudden, I. Same. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. Uh, can I. There's still some time left in the day. What to do? Can I do more Kyoko? Is she in her room? All right. So I went off to look for Kyoko, right? Um, Because, you know, we're going all in on Kyoko, right? And it says in the map that she's right here. Hallway, second floor, stairs to first floor, right? But when you look, she's not here. So I'm thinking, and oh yeah, before you ask, I already looked around. I looked in the first floor. I, I looked in the gym. I looked in the gym, yeah. I can't look in here. But basically, I can't find her. So I guess that's the game telling me that I'm done with Kyoko. But really, having only four scenes, that seems a bit sparse for a seemingly main character. So, once again, I have to decide who my next next waifu is. We're really scraping the barrel here on waifus, but it's not like I dislike anyone else. It's just that, you know, when you get to your fifth favorite, it just doesn't feel the same. <laughs> Alright, so hang on until I decide who my next waifu is. All right, hear me out. I know I said I wasn't going to pick her. But the dress is just too much of an allure. Also, you never know. She might actually be nice. Deep, deep, deep down inside. I don't know. Most unfortunate. Does this school not have any dry cleaning service? How terribly upsetting. Oh, no. I feel like I've made a terrible decision. What am I supposed to do if my clothes become soiled? Uh, you know, fine. Let's stick with this decision. There is nothing to be done. Normally, my pride would not permit me to allow you to be alone with me. But fine, I will allow you to entertain me for a while. I killed some time with Celeste. More like Celeste killed some time with you, by the way she worded that. At least she's happy. Yeah, sure. I've been... I've been memeing on this... Where is that? That brooch this whole time. Pretty sure. I am so happy. Exactly! There we go, I was right. Are you praying tribute to me? How delightful. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. <laughs> Makoto, I would like to share something with you. Huh? What is it? <laughs> My perfect gambling strategy. You know if you're sharing it to me, that means it's not your perfect gambling strategy. Is there really such a thing? Indeed. Of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whatever the game, you must have a mind for strategy. This will allow you to increase your odds of winning. However, the exciting part about gambling is that there is a power which can overwhelm any strategy. 
There is... Indeed. That power is luck. Oh, I'm the ultimate gambling strategy. Thanks, Celeste. Thanks. Luck. Actually... There is only two types of luck. Good and bad. There is no in-between. And that luck is built into every human at the moment of conception. Like a computer program. Is that okay? Some call it fate. The bottom line is, luck is life. Well... Do you see what I am saying? You mean that that's your perfect strategy? <laughs> Correct. You see, I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. So does that mean you lose to me every time because I am the ultimate lucky student? You're just lucky at gambling. This is why I have never lost. So that's all there is to it? You know, Celeste, with that kind of thinking, you're going to lose eventually. <laughs> You are the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this perhaps exceed my own luck? One day, I hope to put that to the test. I hope you are well. Mm hmm. Well then, have a nice day. Without another word, Celeste quick quietly disappeared. I don't know if I should call her Celeste. Celeste? I'm sticking with Celeste. I'd say my life's been more bad luck than good lately. Gambling is probably not a great idea for me. Celeste's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Skill points again! After parting ways with Celeste, I went back to my room. Bing bong! School announcement, school announcement. Oh? Nighttime is quickly approaching, but before it arrives... Why is this different? All students, please gather in the gym immediately. Oh, no. Did someone die? Emergency! Emergency! Oh, my God. Okay. I guess we're getting into it. Gather in the gym... Why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Can I jump there? Uh Where's Kyoko? Oh there. Oops. Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement? Just, I'm sure everyone heard it. Come on. Indeed. Yes. I I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? Right. I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to defy him here and now. Goodbye. So, I'm going on ahead. I really can't do anything except what Monokuma tells me. Mondo, what do you think about this? Yo. Hey, man. You about to head in? Yeah, has everyone already gone on ahead? <sighs> Looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing good's gonna come from ignoring that goddamn bear. Um, Mondo, are you sure you're okay? You kinda went all out in that sauna. What? Huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even phase me. Yo. But, you know. <laughs> there, at the edge of hell, a promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw it coming. Yo. Anyway, let's get our asses into the gym. Man, something unique must have happened between the... Ah, uh, sorry, I'm killing the mood. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, let's get to it. Maybe let's talk to people on the way. That sounds like a good idea. I haven't been doing that much lately, so you guys might have been... Missing out on some juicy text. But apparently no one was in the way, so I couldn't do exactly what I was talking about. Thank you, game. Uh, anyone in here? Yep. I mean, nobody in here. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Asking us to gather all, together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Well. Indeed. What might await us this time? <laughs> <laughs> Keeps things interesting, that's for certain. Um. How is that funny? 
Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife in a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. <laughs> which if which of us is actually messed up, hmm? Huh? Oh, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing in particular, just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but... I also don't want to stay here, living in blind denial day after day. <laughs> I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? He has a point. Because positivity, positivity can only go so far. Again, I am vibing with Byakuya, but he always seems to have some sort of point, even if I don't completely agree. I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me. Remember how you kept on talking about how the police or whoever would come and help us? How that turn out? It seemed to me there's no sign of whatsoever of possible rescue. Well, that th that's just Huh? Uh I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. That's strange. It's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck! Hmm, agree. Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind might be just that powerful to take control of even the police. Could it be? Oh, uh, this might not be related, but <laughs> then I agree. <laughs> Wait. N nice comeback, Toko. Have a plus one from me. Then don't say it. Hmm. Nope, I'm gonna say it. It's not like some occult mystery. last mystery. night, I was near the main hall, just staring off into space. You seem to be doing that a lot. When all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? It, you heard what? Hmm. A sound that I don't know what it was. <sighs> what kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it... Could it be? It was like... It, a construction site, I guess? Hmm, interesting. A uh, construction site? That's serious. Uh, I mean, I could just be making that up. Huh? Why? Then why tell us? I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> then you definitely made it up. Must have been the sound of the ocean in that head of yours. Youch. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? <sighs> He's arrived. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Huh? Or maybe a machine gun! <laughs> that can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? <laughs> Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. It's a secret, little secret. And? Fine, let, then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? Say what? You don't beat all around the old bush, do you? You please. But before that, you mind if I vent a little? Mm. I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably because of this ho hum. Boring old everyday life. Mm. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife of danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Today, the I'm next bracket hasn't black. shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. Hey, um... so I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Hmm, possibly. Are you gonna show us more dement, or some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Mm, knowing Monokuma. It's probably something worse, <laughs> to be honest. Damn it! Drive to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful. 
You hear me? I don't know what you got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. Got it! No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. Hmm. Hmm. That's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time it's... Bam, 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 bam. Embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. But in this context, does it really matter? Like, in a life or death situation, does anyone care that you did something stupid in the past? Like, oh no, they found out my deepest, darkest secret, I'm gonna kill someone. I don't think that works in this kind of context. So, I did a little investigating of my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. And what could Makoto have a secret? He's literally average. Oh boy. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. Oh boy. I'm going to hand them out now. So take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside in my entire- What could you have possibly been- I mean, what could you have possibly done? Mr. Makoto Negi, most average student in the world. That made your entire body go rigid. Oh, come on. Really? That's it? What? Oh! How? How'd you find out about this? Look at Taka. What? Uh, I'm gonna guess Taka is just he, he was late to school one time. <laughs> you have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by Extreme! then, all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spilled the beans. Yeah! Yeah, wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So, that's what you meant by motivate. <laughs> yup, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant. Trust me, none of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? Well, Makoto probably doesn't care. It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but... We'd never kill over something like that. What? what you say? Count on it! He's right. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. Celeste might, because she has a reputation. Byakuya might, because he's rich. Everyone else, maybe not? This is kind of depressing. Oh, no. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know, no matter what, so I assumed it'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay then. In 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets, just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed, fare not well. That's f that's a good pun. Huh. Fare not well. I wonder how that pun worked in Japanese, though. With an almost convincing look of depressed de dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. Just follow so, him! Um... Follow the doll. That might be your clue out of here. Guys, brains, where? Come on. Uh, uh, I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Um. I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is gonna be totally embarrassing, but that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me! Good news, everyone! I have a brilliant idea! You hear me? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? Without a doubt! If we do that, any and all motive for the murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Well, if they're up to it, I suppose, if everyone's gonna find out anyway. Quiet down and listen! Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... 
Uh, I don't want to hear your stupid story. What? Besides, I, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I don't care what anyone says. I, I don't want to talk about mine. As for me... This is why. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. All right. My prediction for Celeste is... She's not actually the ultimate gambler. That she just lucked through all of it. You know? In in a game of 50-50, there is a chance to win to win the 50 all the time. And going back to that one, actually I'm glad I picked Celeste then for the previous uh time spent thing. Because if what she said is true and the ultimate gambling strategy is luck then she might not actually be an ultimate gambler but she just got lucky you know so that could be it i mean it's the only thing that could be quote unquote impossible it's in her title right okay oh well it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible come on it'll be good for you she's she, you're gonna get ah uh, okay I thought she was gonna go crazy again. Absolutely not. Come on. It's okay. On. Just a little bit. Okay, no, Hifumi. That's creepy. Honestly. As I said. Here we go. Okay. Hey! There we go. I said I don't want to talk about this human bag of lard. Say what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. <laughs> I told you, there will be some people who find this like as a motive. What do you think, Chihiro? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. Chihiro? Huh. But... Interesting. More people are hesitant about it than I expected. But I also don't want to leave things the way they are so maybe I can talk about it later after I try my best to become strong then I can tell everyone so, hey, um, if you don't want to talk you don't have to I'm not super excited to talk about it either that's true if everyone's that much against it even if my bro's the one that suggested it I gotta say no <laughs> well that's okay then either way if it's just a few secrets I'm sure nobody's about to kill anyone over it I hope you're right. A secret so bad you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that, right? Hang on. Kyoko might. We haven't heard her yet. And her route ended pretty abruptly in the don't get too close to me category. So she must be hiding something. <sighs> okay, I'll stop with all this secret talk, but... You hear me? Each of us has 24 hours to so get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't gonna be fun, but it's not like we're gonna die because of it. Mm, hopeful thinking right there. Mm. So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. Wow. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, uh, sorry. I know it's gonna be tough, but... Ding dong, bing bong. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Hmm, night time already, huh? Okay, let's call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but we left things as they were and left things as they lay. And this is where I'm gonna leave this episode. So if you guys want to find out what everyone's secret is, leave a like and subscribe for more. So I guess a little bit of opinion is due because a bunch of things happen here. The secret will definitely kill someone. Basically. And it's going to be one of those who didn't want to share. So that's either Celeste, 
um, who else? Byakuya, Toko. I hate to say it, but Kyoko and Chihiro. Because they were the ones who outright said, I don't want to talk about it. Now, some of those are more likely than others. But I don't know, man. It's just a bit weird thinking about Chihiro or Kyoko killing anyone. Celeste, Celeste may, might be a big B, but she's not all knives and swords type, you know? She wins by cunning. And Byakuya already said he didn't want to kill anyone, so he's too rich to get his hands dirty. So I actually don't know where the story is going. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, everyone.